My childhood tasted like chaos. A beehive after the baseball bat, a broken Ferris wheel. At eight, I was diagnosed a disaster, an incurable catastrophe, an unrepentant shit disturber. I was the kid you did not want in your class. You know, the one who couldn't sit still, couldn't do the drill, didn't fit the bill, never would, never will, until I got the chill pill. Ah, Ritalin. Now we're fitting hand paying attention, listening better than it's been. Let's not pretend it's a solution. It's not. Just the best we got because the system shocked. Having attention deficit hyperactivity disorder is like living inside a violently disobedient clock. Seconds slowing into forever. Then jumping into overdrive. It's being an exclamation mark in a world of commas. It's telling the cop, go fuck yourself. It's tuning out my wife who's sitting right in front of me because the fly on the ceiling is walking backwards. And I forgot to call my mother, who was a terrible cook, but I didn't care. I ate so fast, food barely touched my taste buds. I don't know why they call them buds anyway. It's not like they become flowers, or friends, or beer. The first time I took my medication, my mental merry-go-round began to slow down. And everyone suddenly started speaking human. I went to five different high schools, failed every class, except gym, drama, and dope smoking. Math was like studying advanced theoretical Klingon. And ultimately, the only thing school ever taught me was that I wasn't good enough to make the grade. I know my attention fluctuates, but when love calls my name, I focus like the Hubble. I can see God's fingerprints on every flower petal. I remember the cut, color, and the texture of that dress you wore the day we met, and every switchback curve in your beautiful smile. You say living with me is like having a Swedish death metal band in the basement <laughs> and a drunk kangaroo in the bedroom. But although I can't sit still for more than three minutes, I can still see forever in your eyes. The world disdains the distracted mind. They prefer us focused on our flat screens, too terrified to imagine a world without drones, war zones, or corporate fucking prisons. But my mind is full of visions so breathtakingly beautiful. My God, I wish you could see them too. I may never be normal, but what is normal in a world of infinite variety? And in the quiet backwaters of my mind, I know I am not damaged just different. And isn't being different the one thing we all have in common? <laughs>